I think we're on Robo Lawyer. Yes. Uh, hopefully the camera's working. What? Oh, yes. Uh, if they're worried about how we're dressed, you're wearing a towel. This is a towel. Robo Lawyer's wear, got a towel on. I've got a. a, a, a well, I think it's an RM Williams uh, rain jacket on. Because it's been raining up in Rockhampton. It's been wet. So Robo and I have dressed up for the weather. What's that, Robo? You're concerned about the uh, topic of corporate finance because it seems awfully complicated. Well, in some ways it is, in some ways it isn't. I think what you've got to realise is there's a lot of technical, uh, technical information there because they've kept adding to the legislation all the time. Yes, we'll talk about why they did that in a minute, but first what you think you've got to remember is there are two sorts of finance uh, which a company can get mainly and that's the shares by issuing shares and raising money through share issues that's called equity finance and the people who buy those shares are called shareholders and they become members of the company and there's another way a company can obtain finance and that's by getting a loan and when a company gets a loan it generally uh, issues what are called debentures and people who lend money to the company uh, by way of a loan are called debenture holders and in fact there's a whole lot of learning about that so there's the two different sorts there's the equity finance which is the shares and there's the uh, debt finance which is in the form of debentures and loans uh, and then the law has also imposed some restrictions on how companies can get money from the public, either by asking people to buy shares or uh, buying debenture, taking up debentures. And the reason for that is because as to, uh, in response to corporate collapses, and the law's taken the view that we need more detail in it, People need to be informed before. That's right, Robert. They otherwise, so they can make a sound judgment. And in fact, it used to be that every time a company wanted to raise funds, either by shares or debentures, they had to virtually put out a great big document called a prospectus. And what's that, Robert? What if they put wrong statements in it? Well, they, the company, the directors of the company, and those pr people preparing the prospectus could get into trouble. And it, so prospectus, uh, preparing a prospectus became a great big exercise, yes. And in fact, if there were misstatements in it, they'd have to issue what was called a supplementary prospectus. Now, that if you can get the idea that a prospectus is a way where you can invite people to subscribe to shares in the company, then the law said, well, look, that's probably a bit too complicated. So what they did was they changed it and they made different sorts of uh, disclosure statements which required things like offer information statements and uh, depending on who it's directed to, the, the amount of disclosure, that's very important. So that's a, a, the whole jurisprudence, yes, jurisprudence, that means legal knowledge. Robo lawyer, uh, uh, jurisprudence about uh, corporate fundraising and the need for disclosure. Uh, but yes, with shares, yes, uh, shareholders have a number of rights. That's right, they can get dividends. Uh, uh, but there was a, there's a rule that a company can only uh, pay a dividend out of the profits. Uh, why is that the case? Well, People were concerned that the capital raised by the company through its share, the issuing of shares could be misapplied. It could be used to pay shareholders dividends when the company hadn't really made a profit. Now that would mean that the creditors would miss out if the company were to be wound up. So the law developed a whole series of rules about dividends can only be applied uh, paid out of profits, a company can't purchase its own shares, uh, they were sort of the maintenance of capital principle. 
you know, what's happened, of course, is over time it's changed. They've allowed a company to buy back its shares. They've allowed procedures for uh, reductions in capital. And in doing so, laws try to ensure that it's fair for all members. Yes, and that's right. They Generally, they require membership approval sometimes too. They're going to do that. So, um, Yes, yeah, so it's a complicated process, but that's the idea about shares and uh, different sorts of shares have different rights. Now, the other thing I think which is important to remember is if you lend money to a company, you hope that the company will pay interest on the money, if that's a source of income, and you hope that the co you'll be able to recover the money at the end of the loan period. Now, if the company is unable to repay the money, you're left 